Now that the indictment has dropped, one of the top questions that we have received is whether President Trump and his alleged co-conspirators can indeed be pardoned. 11 Alive's Grace King joining us now to verify. Grace? A pardon can reduce or eliminate the punishment for certain crimes, but here in Georgia, the pardon process works differently than it does in most states. So can Trump pardon himself or receive one from Governor Kemp? Let's verify. Our sources are Emory University political science professor Dr. Andra Gillespie and the Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles. Its website outlines a lengthy process that we asked Dr. Gillespie to help explain. If you break a law at the state, you are subject to state law, and so the president doesn't have jurisdiction over state law. To qualify for a pardon in Georgia, the state says you must first complete a minimum part of your sentence. Then there was a five-year waiting period, and during that time, you need to have lived a law-abiding life. And finally, you cannot have any pending charges and need to have paid all fines in full. If you've succeeded with that, you can then apply for a pardon. Georgia is one of the few states where the governor does not have direct pardon power, so uh, Governor Kemp cannot unilaterally pardon anybody. Georgia governors have the power to appoint people to a five-member Georgia State Board of Pardons and Paroles, but they serve staggered seven-year terms, a process designed to prevent politically motivated decisions. So we can verify that no, neither the president nor the governor have the power to pardon anyone convicted of state crimes in Georgia. And experts like Dr. Gillespie say they wouldn't be surprised if Trump's legal team tries to move this Fulton County case into federal court. If he's successful with that effort, it could create a whole different set of legal questions. We'll be right back.